Good morning, Grace Covenant. This morning, the moon is is still visible up in the up in the sky, and I wanted to share that with you, along with the beautiful glow of the sun coming over the horizon. I know it's not as dynamic as um, it is in person on video, but I hope you can hope you can catch a glimpse of it and hear the birds um, singing this morning. It's Thursday, March fourth, and we continue our our Lenten journey, our time in the wilderness together. Um, this past Sunday, Richard preached on detoxing, and this coming up Sunday, we're going to be exploring metabolizing. And our devotional really fits beautifully into um, this invitation, into difficult, um, difficult sensations and feelings, the things that we don't want to acknowledge, the things that we don't want to deal with. <laughs> um, and I, I pray that, that today you your awareness can turn to this deeper place that always exists. It's this deeper thing that we are always connected to. Think of it like an aquifer under underground, deep underground, but it feeds everything that's above ground, including you, including me, including our bodies and souls and spirits and everything around us. And so that deep aquifer, think of it like an aquifer, um, is is where we are the most completely hydrated and nourished um, for, for what it means to be a human being. If we can draw from that place, then we, then we move around the world not defensive or avoidant. Um, we don't need to intellectualize all the time, but we can trust. We can trust days as they unfold and encounters as they unfold. And um, that means we don't have to grip and grasp and mush it down, but we can let things um, metabolize. We can let things move through us in a life-giving way. And so um, the devotional really talks about all the writers explore um, welcoming the difficult thoughts or the dissonance or the things that um, maybe we we realize now we had a limited vision around. Um, those are such important spiritual muscles. The ability to um, to not be kind of revolted by um, by your limitation, by our um, our mistakenness, by the things that we did that that did harm, but to really trust that the truth of looking at those things in community and the truth of exploring what it means to to live fully in community is where we find mutual liberation. And so I hope you will join us on Sunday um, to explore this, this feeling, this body reality of metabolizing. Um, and, you know, the scripture this Sunday is Jesus turning the tables over in the temple and um, metabolizing righteous anger metabolizing um, just metabolizing the the exasperation that we feel sometimes with with what it means to be human um, the different ways that that resentment can be weaponized that um, self-loathing can be weaponized all of those things um, invite this metabolizing in order for them to feed this journey of liberation. But just as I um, invited last week in my devotional, if we don't let that 
deep place of God's love, that hammock, that aquifer, be where we come from in this work, then our bodies really do just lock up and we, we start to react and deflect and project. Um, and those are all words that, that don't get us very far. Um, but if we can trust, if we can um, be nourished, if we can always understand ourselves as already connected, so you don't, you don't get to kind of disconnect from this reality. You don't get to cut yourself off. That's not possible. If you understand yourself as already connected, um, then, it's, then our jobs are to nourish and nurture those connections in life-giving ways, um, not to resist them or, or tell lies about them to ourselves. So my prayer for you today is that you can really turn your awareness over and over again to that deep aquifer, that you can notice what it feels like, what, what kind of balance comes into your system when you see a, a broader reality um, for your existence. Um, because that's where we all are together in that broader reality that is infused with love, um, yearning for us to find a more balanced way to be in relationship with ourselves and with each other and with the earth and with God. May it be so today.